So I am live here with Alex Pettit, and uh, I just realized that we're going we're gonna to have some, uh, some shadows there if we actually keep that uh, the soft box. Let me just see here. You guys are joining. Oh, there we go. That's better. <clears throat> awesome. So we've got uh, Dave Shrines on. Awesome to have you. I'm going to take the Olo clip here, put it on here. So um, there we go. So you got that going. And I'm going to put this on so people can see more of me. We can see the hearts. Hey, man, what's going on? I didn't see who that was. Allison, what's going on? Hey, Boutique, Maine, uh, Mayland Ocean, no glasses. Yeah, I know, right? He's got no glasses. Kevin in the house. Tiffany Sweet Spot, Ventuitive. Hey, from South Australia. B. Larson, what's going on? Great stuff. What's going on, guys? We got 30 people on, 38 people on, which is pretty impressive on a, on a Friday afternoon. What's up, Richard Bravo? Al, that was a pretty crazy scope we did the other night. Everybody is in it. What's up, yo, from Orlando, London. Hey, Alex. I said, what's up, Ryan? Hey, I got my package of supplies today. Okay, good. What's up? Awesome. I just want to say hi. So this is going to be a really, really cool scope. Arkansas watching. Awesome. Invite your followers. Invite your friends. Swipe right to follow and invite. Obviously, I got you guys can see I got my new iMac here. Um, I did I bought this thing just for these, just for to do interviews. Um, and I and I wanted to because I really wanted to make it very easy. And you guys can see how I've got the uh, I've got the lavalier mic taped right to uh, to the to the table here. Hello from Orlando, Lady Layson. I have one of those mics. Awesome. Oh, you got one of those iMacs. Awesome. So invite all your followers. This is going to be phenomenal. You got the. The guru of, of Periscope, the, the legend himself, as, as Mark Shaw would say, the legend, got my supplies today here from Amazon. Awesome. I got my funnel going. Great. Oh, my gosh. You did eat. Okay. So we got to talk. Kevin's awesome, by the way. I met Kevin at uh, tra uh, Traffic and Conversion here in San Diego. Um, 5K iMac. Okay. iMac. Yeah. Alex Pettit, LOL. Way to be on it. Yeah, he is on it. That's why... Um, I'm, I'm, high, I'm actually interviewing him, 62 people on. I'm really surprised because it's Friday. I, that's a lot for this time in the afternoon. Um, so anyway, so Alex Pettit, I think he goes, it goes without saying, who, Euro's on, <laughs> awesome, Euro's on, using a Gorillapod for my scopes. So you guys can see the little, the little scope sack here. Um, before I get into that, um, Alex, let's, uh, let's go to you. I, I did... I did send, uh, Alex has got one of these, and he's going to give us a really good review of this. I wanted to get his feedback on it because we're trying to make these scopes better. So with that, I'll, uh, I'll let, you get, you know, let you give some feedback on what you've, what you've uh, learned so far and, and talk about yourself. Yeah, so uh, Brian really kindly sent me some of what, what's in the scope sack. Um, three main things really. There's like... Uh, the microphone, a little lavalier microphone to improve the audio of uh, your periscopes. Also some lenses, uh, if you're going for the really wide angle fisheye lens, um, you can get that effect, effect and it really helps to fit a lot in with in your um, shows. And also just a, a natural wide angle lens as well, which is really useful. And I'm going to show some of that in a second. I know Ryan's got some with him as well. And then probably one thing that I found almost most useful is uh, a tiny pocket-sized tripod. But I had someone come on my stream the other day and say, and I, was, I wasn't using a tripod, I just had the phone in their hand. And they were like, dude, you need a tripod. And I was like, ah ha ha, but I have one. And I literally pulled it out of the pocket and it couldn't have been, you know, it's the most perfect, the, the scope sack is perfect because you can carry it around with you at all times and set it down on the table and suddenly you've got a really powerful broadcasting tool. Yeah. Um, so if you want me to show some of that, Ryan, I've got it here with me. Absolutely. And, and I think it's great because and it's really awesome that you, 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 you gave that little story. What's going on, JB? Um, so the, the Rode, Rode actually, the, the Smart Lob Plus and also even the, the Movo, which we're going to be reviewing today, they both come with these little sacks. And that's how the, the whole scope sack, I was having a conversation with Ryan Bell the other night, and it just came out. He came at, it was, I think it was going to be the scope studio, and then somehow we got the scope sack and it's stuck ever since. So I can't wait to get mine. Euro, yes, yours is on the way. Somebody just invited a whole bunch of people because it just, did you just drop a bomb on your entire list yeah, there, or so what? I, I just invited it. Um, <laughs> so hey to everyone, hey to all my followers that are coming uh, here. Wow. Today, me and Ryan are talking about uh, the scope sack, which is basically a small 
kind of sack of goodies that you can have for your Periscope broadcast. And then it's not expensive at all, Ryan, is it? No, it's not. It's, um, we've actually kept the price down depending on which of these microphones that you get because we just want to make you guys better at, at creating better scopes. We want, to get, we want to be able to get you guys perspective. I want you to be able to do what I'm doing right now. I mean, for less than $120, you can, you can do what we're doing right now, where you can interview people from all over the world over your own TV station. I mean, seriously, like, Oprah can, Oprah can barely do this kind of stuff. Just saying. And you can buy all this stuff from Amazon as well. It's not like you've got to go to some specialist thing. Like, I bought here in the UK, Ryan just sent me a couple of links, and this is the, the lovely microphone, and then you've got, like, a, the clip-on lenses for your iPhone and we'll go through this in more detail and yeah. um, but like I was saying before the thing that I absolutely love is, is the tripod yeah. you know I can set this down on the table no matter where I am I've done it on a train and, and start broadcasting uh, and the, the, sh the shot is steady throughout yeah so you found that, that you like that you like the tripod with the adapter here that actually so the phone goes in here and the so there's the actual tripod adapter Ryan do you sell the scope stack no if, if you want and I'm just going to start and say, my husband thought it was pretty funny. I didn't, okay, you're talking, to, there's some conversations going on. I'm not going to try to keep up with all the conversations, but bottom line is, is, is the whole, I just want to just take a step back. Um, the, the whole initiative of this came about because I've been creating videos for the past five years for my, for my clients. I have uh, seven, I'm in my actual, my, my digital agency studio here, my office in San Diego. That's what we do. I mean, I don't, I don't just sell scope sacks. I mean, this is, <laughs> what I do is, is we help businesses get found online and we help them find more, get more customers from, we've got clients all over the world. Um, you know, we, and so what, what I've done though, is I've helped people actually use, and there's, oh, there's the, uh, what do you got there? Oh, there's their phone. Okay. So he's just, no, try He's demonstrating how the, the phone works there, and that's, a, that's the iPhone 6 Plus, right? Yeah, that's the 6 Plus. Ooh. Yep. So, what, so he's just showing you how that those arms stretch out, and this is the tripod, and the really cool thing is that this is the, the, the ball mount um, right there that allows you to basically tilt the, tilt the whole thing back. So it's a really cool little, little setup, and, and it, you know, the phone goes right in there. I want one. Your hero's like. So what's really cool is, is that. So I've been creating videos for my clients for five years on for YouTube. Okay, and so what we I've got over a quarter million views on my videos, and um, I've had a lot of people say, "Well, man, why are you? You know, because I've been teaching people how to use these fisheye lenses and these adapters and these microphones to expand the capabilities of their of their iPhones or smartphones. So what's in the sack? Is that so? Yes. So this is in, this is officially part of the sack, um, and it's and the reason why it can all fit in there is because Euro is because it can you just unscrew this. What's the SMS? So I'm going to give you guys if you guys want the links for all this. Regal in the house. What's up? We had some fun the other night, Regal. So basically, this is the uh, the adapter. So this is separate, and this actually and the beautiful thing about this, and, and I'll let you, I'll, I'll let you. I don't want to steal your thunder. What, what do you think about about the capabilities of this? So go ahead, Alex, because you know. I think well, I've got my iPhone in it now, and firstly, you know, it's really useful. So I'll try and show it as best I can. You've got the legs which fold up, so actually it can be a really really small thing, and you just fold out the legs and then stick it on a on a table. But also, what I often do just to keep steady. You know, when I'm scoping, is actually use the, the legs as a handle, and then you know it's almost like a monopod, and, and you're, you're going like that. So that's one thing. Yeah. It obviously you can see here if it stretches and fits an iPhone six plus. It will do the same for an iPhone six as as well and, and other devices. Android, so Android as well. That that's the, the that that's the reason. Yeah. By the way, Alex, that's the reason why I created this scope sack is that it's universal for everybody. Is that you know I made it I made it for sure. This, you know, that, that this could be used for everybody, like so that this expands for any Samsung device, any type of phone, and I, I did a lot of research for this, so I've, I've saved you guys the time, money, and effort. Courtney's in the house, great to see you. Um, and bottom line, though, is, is, that, is that you guys can get all this for like 120 bucks. You just go to periscoperyan.com, um, because a lot of people I see are saying, where do you get it, where do you get it, how do you... If you go to periscoperyan.com or text your name and uh, email and the word Periscope to 58885, then you can, uh, Mark Shaw's here too, awesome, um, 
58885. JB knows that. So um, this is all, and I'm sorry, what were, you, what were you saying, Alex? I was just saying, I like the, the kind of screw on the back so that you can go from, if you ever need to, you can go from, and if I just undo it, from being vertical to then going to landscape and having it locked in landscape, which is really useful if, if you switch into recording YouTube videos. It's not just for Periscope, obviously it's really, really useful for Periscope. But. Yeah, mine for everybody that's doing Periscope, that, that's using Periscope and leveraging it because I wanted to create a, a, a studio in a sack that would allow you to leverage the capabilities and to be, be able to communicate with people and see the comments and see the hearts so I needed to have something that would go from landscape to portrait very quickly. And that's what this does. It goes from landscape to portrait very, very quickly. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it does go from landscape to portrait very quickly. And the other great thing about this is, is I was able to find it, make it so that with this ball mount here, the phone sits up here high enough that you can still actually plug the, you know, the actual microphone in the bottom of the phone, even when it's in yeah. portrait mode which is really nice. So I, I hope that you guys all, you know, you know, appreciate like, you know, what, you know, what you've got here. I mean, you've got a really cool little studio here that, that, you know, along with the, um, the lens, which I'm using right now, I'm using the Olo clip lens. Um, yeah. And that's, you're using the old, okay. Now that's the lens right there. That's the Yopo lens. You got the macro on there. Um, or the, yeah, the macro, but this, it comes with actually three lenses, a macro, a wide angle, and then it also comes with a, um, uh, a fisheye. So there's all, yeah, there you go. There's the, there's it. So he's showing it as well. And then here's the, this is, I just want to get something clear with you guys is that this is a, about, this is a $75 microphone. Um, and then, and this one here, these are both very similar. This one is actually the Movo and it's, and it's basically $25 as opposed to this one being 75, I've experienced this as being a little bit hot in the, in the, in the call that we had the other day, the scope that I had. Remember everybody, I put, the, I put this, I unboxed this thing and it was, it was kind of hot. So um, someone is, <laughs> so yeah, so what, what was your experience with that? Alex? So I, I've tried the, the microphone out I've, and pretty much every scope that I've done since I've got it because I really wanted to perfect the best way to do it. And when I first got it, you know, I put it on in my shirt really high and I had people just like you commenting saying, whoa, the microphone feels quite hot. It it's, feels like it's peaking and, and it's that kind of scratchy, horrible sound. And so I went away and was like, okay, are there any settings in my phone that I can change? And the, the settings are limited. So I was like, well, okay, today, for example, I was like, well, what happens if I don't put it at the top of my T-shirt, but let's say I put it halfway down. And the feedback I got from everyone then is, sounds, sounds great, sounds perfect. Okay. So if you don't want to spend, you know, for something like the Rode, uh, is it $75, around about that mark? Yeah, the Rode uh, is $75, yes. Yeah. So if you want to go for the cheaper option, just be aware about, just be aware about it can sometimes be hot, but that can be to, to do with where you place it. Yeah, Euro said, is it hot? Is it? Um, is there a, a gain feature, or is there a? Yeah, on this on these mics. There, so there isn't. Yeah. So the annoying thing, especially if you use an iOS device, there's no kind of gain within Periscope where you can set the levels of an external microphone. That would be great if they did that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there isn't any gain or anything like that. So it, the mic is just the level as you plug it in. So somebody just said, what about when it's windy? That's the whole reason. Uh, aren't you to love? I didn't get the. Um, so basically, the reason why we're actually using these is because of the fact that you know I'm counting on the fact that I'm going to be using these outside, and they've got these little. The, I don't know. It basically got a little foam a piece on the outside of it that makes it so that the wind you can't hear the wind at all. Even in I've used these at the beach up in Encinitas um, on the ridge up there, and it was blowing probably 20 knots, and I got no wind at all. I'm able to hear, they're able to hear me crisp and clear. And um, that's one of the biggest, yeah, thanks Westward for saying an awesome set. Windscreen, it's a windscreen. It's a, yeah, there's a lot of other words for them. But anyway, yeah, so that's, yeah, you bet. Our, our unit for love, yeah. So, um, yeah, I think, what do you think about the, the clip, the, the, these, the, the clip device here? So, I mean, the, the thing, the reason why I use these, by the way, just really quick, Alex, is, 
The reason why I, I put this in here as opposed to obviously the Olo clip is because the Olo clips for an iPhone for the iPhones. Um, it, they're, they're really you know, optimized for the iPhones. This one, the reason why I use this one, even though it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit clunky, it, the great thing is you can use this for any phone. You, know, you can use it even for, I even use these on my, um, my webcam, on my desktop, my laptop. You know, so yeah. which is kind of nice. Yeah. What were you gonna say about these? No, for me, um, so I, I have an Olo, uh, an Olo clip, uh, but I have it for my iPhone five. So when I got my iPhone six, it didn't fit, and I would have had to spend another, let's say, sixty dollars or so. So um, also, some of the Olo, Olo clips just work for the rear-facing camera and don't work for the front-facing camera. So what's really good about these clip-on things, like you say, they're so versatile, you can plug them on the front-facing camera. This is the fisheye one, and I've just quickly changed the lens from the wide-angle. It comes with three lenses, a macro, a wide-angle, and a fisheye. Um, so you've got a whole host of things that you can do. Yeah. And you know what? I'm just going to jump out whilst we're in the stream and kind of uh, give a bit of a demo of what video might look like with the fisheye on. Yeah, here. You know what? I can even do that. Here's the, here's the fisheye. So here's what here's I'm gonna use the the wide angle lens, which ironically the wide angle lens, which is what this is, is smaller than the fisheye. I would always think that the or I'm sorry, the fisheye is smaller than the wide wide angle lens. I would think that to generate that wider view in the fisheye, it would you would need a bigger lens, but it's just the opposite. You actually so there's your there's your wide angle lens, okay. And I'm using, by the way, right now, I'm using the Rode, the Rode mic right now. So, and the other really cool thing that, that I'm using right now is I'm actually using an adapter that allows me, no, what do you mean no? Euro saying no, Alex looks, air, okay. So I'm, mm -hmm. using, <laughs> I'm using the adapter that allows me to actually use two different microphones and I've actually purchased this little extender here, the SC1, and there's an adapter that allows me to plug two, not one, but two microphones directly into the smartphone so that I can actually interview somebody and we can both have really good audio. And this is great because like I said, this is really a good tip for you guys. If you want to interview somebody, um, I've, you know, I've got Alex here on you know, the iMac and what I've done is just simply taken the, the microphone here and let me know what you guys think of, of the actual audio. If it's good, give me thumbs up. Let me know what you think of Alex's audio and of my audio because I know that it turns down the reverberation. Going to have to listen to the recording. I have most missed most. Of, okay, is that in the sack? I need the two. Okay, you need the two. Okay, audio is really really good. Everybody's saying, yeah. Most people saying the audio is good. Yeah, yeah, and so that's great. Sounds right now. Yeah, keeps freezing. Okay, I don't know what that what that's all about. But um, but anyway, so. What I did for him, just so that you guys know, because I've, I've gone through a few of these uh, these interviews, this is really, really, oh my gosh, so what's going on? We got everybody here, man. We got um, we got Franzo in the house. Uh, have you met Franzo, by the way? He's, he's a good yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we've, spoke, we've spoken on Twitter. He's a good guy. Love it. So um, um, anyway, so I wanted to just, I wanted to tell you guys, Franzo, you guys that are going to be doing this stuff, Mark Shaw, there's Mark Shaw he's in the blue. Uh, blue comments box there. Um, what you guys want to do is you want to get this extender because the road mic is only about five feet long. You want to get this extender that extends this out another six meters and it'll make it so that you can actually, uh, you know, extend this mic over to whatever it is that you're actually having the person come in on from Skype. So that's just a little tip there. So you want to get this, these little extra things in order to make sure that Hey Mark Shaw, yeah. So JB's, there's a lot of, a lot of comments in here. I don't know if you, you got any comments you want to. Uh, I've got the comments on here. Yeah, I don't know what, what the, any of those that you want to, that you want to answer really quick or. Just people again asking about the tripod. I, I, it's hard to pick a thing I like the best in the scope sack. So just to kind of go over what what was in the scope sack yeah. that you sent me, it was mainly three things. There was the. The tripod with the ball mount and the, the mount for the camera, it all comes as one kind of kit. Then there was the, the lens kit, and then there was the microphone. And here in the UK, I think all of those came to less than £50, yeah. Uh, yeah. which is an incredible price to yeah. up your production of your periscopes by that much for such a small investment. Um, but yeah, my favorite thing probably has to be 
I can't pick. I can't yeah. pick. I think. I think for <laughs> me, I, 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 I can tell you what I what I use the most for sure. I I find that I get better engagement, and I and that's really what this is all about, right, Alex? I mean. Really, this is all about increasing the engagement. It's about creating better periscopes. And this is what, you know, like I've got a producer on here, and we've got Courtney Harvey here who's, who's produce, uh, you know, she's producing like E! News, and she's, you know, and, I, and I, keep, I give her a hard time because I'm like, oh, and we've got Ryan Bell on here. So I give her a hard time because I'm like, look, for the first time, you get to be the film person, and you get yeah. to be the host. And it's yeah. not, so it's not just about... I'm not selling these, but basically it's about you being the host and being the, the producer and being the film person. And bottom line is, is that if you are able to grab your phone and create more depth and a bigger viewable area, you're going to retain your audience much, much longer than if you give them just that little box, that this box right here. If you do that, look yeah, at that. You can't I even see me. I found that today massively. I wasn't on Periscope, um, but I was walking through the pit lane uh, for Formula E today, and I, was, I found really restricted where I was trying to do face-to-face -face interviews yeah. uh, just using the iPhone's front lens. But I was like, oh, hold on, I've got my lens kit. I stuck the wide-angle lens on, and suddenly I could stand there with my, you know, with my phone outstretched but get both of us in. And it still be a really nice wide shot and show you know the racing cars behind us, and that's why things like the wide angle lens are perfect and, and great to have. Right, it is because like like if I wanted to be able to get you in the viewable area, there's no way I could do it if I didn't have this. If if you have any intention of doing any interviews like this, guys, the only way you're going to do this is with these is with these tools. We've got Mini Gen on here to answer your question, Euro the SC6. The adapter that allows you to use the two different the two different mics is not included in the so, the scope sack. Neither, neither is the extension. Um, but th this is only like ten bucks, and um, and the other uh, the SC6 is only like fifteen or twenty bucks. So seriously, um, you know, you really want to. I mean, those are things that if for you for sure, I would definitely invest in. And uh, and again, even if you even if somebody actually buys the Smart Law Plus at seventy five bucks, which increases the price by fifty, you're still at like right around one hundred and twenty five dollars U S. So, um, so yeah. So basically, can you add it to my stack? <laughs> Euro's like, um, so any what other questions? Euro's like, I know he's like, what? Um, so okay. So the other thing now. So any other any other feedback? So the, I, just what I was saying is is I find the, I find me using the lenses the most. And I saw Franzo, you said that you use you've done been been doing all your scopes with these wide angle lenses. Um, I need audio. What's the name of the tripod? <clears throat> the tripod is the Jellyfish. Um, it's the Jellyfish, and this is basically the it's the Jellyfish Square. And there's actually three pieces to this. There's the tripod. There's the ball ball mount adapter, and then there's the actual adapter that allows you to hold hold the phone. The reason why we use the ball mount in the middle there, because you can just attach the adapter directly to the tripod, but it's because you can you can get this tilt function here, which is great too. So um, I've got some other stuff here, and again, if you go to periscoperyan.com, periscoperyan.com, you can get all these links. I just updated all my links today. I spent a couple hours there. I was driving these guys nuts because they're like, "What are you doing? We got to get on this call with one of our clients." And I'm like, "No, I got to get ready for my call with Alex. I got to get my my links up to date." Um, I introduced Periscope to. Oh, so I see you're. Are you ch are you chatting in there, Ryan? I don't have yeah, enough time. Away. Okay, good, good. So it's text your name, email, and the word Periscope also to five eight 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 five. And by the way, if any of you guys want a, a landing page like that, I mean, I want you guys to be able to offer whatever it is that you're that you're doing. Talk to me about it. Um, I can set. So I use Instant Customer for my landing pages. I know that Franzo's probably got some really good, um, you know, some some really. I mean, obviously, lead pages, um, things like that. Are you, um, you know, so, you know, the other things that I've used and. and um, before we wrap up, before I go to those other things, call my office when you need to get started helping. Okay, Ryan and Alex, nice scopes, uh, nice scope, great. Alex Pettit, you're the man. Ryan, I don't have enough time in my day to absorb all of your val. Oh, thanks. Click funnels is good. Yes. What's up? Okay. What's up? Perfect audience is good as well. That's for retargeting. 
Alex, pet as a result, I have not only covered Formula E races in Miami, Long Beach. Oh, cool. Are, is she using... Amazing. Yeah, what is she using, by the way, to do that? Is, is she using... she introduced Meerkat and Periscope to uh, Formula E. Uh, and obviously, I'm, I'm Periscoping at Formula E tomorrow. So hopefully, we can meet up. I'll be in the pits most of the day and around, around London, uh, around the track. So... Yeah, hopefully we can. You should tweet anyone who's going to be at Formula E tomorrow. Should tweet me, and then um, there'll be a beer. We'll have a beer. We'll have a beer. And and if you guys want, put what you do in there. I mean, put what you do so that other people can follow you. Um, I saw that uh, Ryan Bell. Um, it's good to see him on there. I, is anybody going? I also want to make sure that we give a, a shout out to to Ryan as well. He's he's putting on and organizing the uh, the summit here. Um, this, and that's coming up very soon here in January in San, in, um, San Francisco. I wish it was in San Diego, right here in my backyard. Um, we, we usually get a lot of stuff like that here, but uh, you bet, Ryan. Um, and I know that, Alex, are you going to be there? Are you going to be at, are you going to, you're going to be, or we're, we're Ryan, you gotta pay, you gotta get this guy there if he's not, seriously? So, uh, uh, Ryan is in the chat, so he'll be able to, to say. Uh, but, it, you know, New York. I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to say now, Ryan. Right? Somewhat. somewhat Ryan, right. Put in the chat there, Ryan. Is he allowed to say anything? All right. Later. Good job. Um, so, Ryan, give us, give us uh, the the. We can say. He said we can say. So yeah, I'll be in New York. You heard it first. <laughs> on this scope, I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm really massively, massively, massively looking forward to it and meeting everyone as well. So I uh, can't wait to be a uh, part of it as well. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to it as well. Um, you know, and, and typically what you guys will see, and I've got to just throw this in there because I know Mark Shaw was in here. So I'm going to just say, yes, I give you all these tools. And yes, Ryan calls me the tool guy. I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, but, uh, but I, but really what I do is I, I do digital marketing for you guys that are wondering, swipe right to follow, swipe, swipe up to follow if you want. Um, you know, basically, you know, I help businesses, um, get online. If you're, if you're wondering what I do, I saw somebody, you know, ask that a little bit ago. So, um, so anyway, so this is the tool guy, right? I'm the, I'm the, I'm the tool guy. So basically there's another one also in New York coming up in September as well. I wanted to give a shout out. Uh, for that too, I want to make sure that everybody knows that that that's coming up as well. And I see Alex that you're, Franzo, you're going to those, aren't you? Yeah, crazy and beta update for Meerkat today. Also added some. Oh, they added some really cool stuff for Meerkat. Okay. Um, so so yeah, I really. The other thing is now, what else? What else do you? Um, I can talk. I've got some other really. I can do some unboxings here. Um, this is like kind of like the first. I have not even. You know, I've not even shown some of these things. I can show this to you as well. Actually, Alex or um, Ryan has got one of these, this shoulder pod. Um, mm. I don't know if you've seen this, but there's some other really cool things. I'd love to chat with you some sometime about things that happening at Pass the Talent. Yes. Um, that's the one thing. Now, let's talk about really quickly UK, Amazon versus US. What was, what yeah. was, what was that like? So we, we kind of found, so the way that, that we did it was uh, I actually went on, or Ryan sent me his links from the website, and then I went over to the UK's Amazon because I wanted to get them kind of next day delivery on Prime. Uh, so we found that all the jellyfish, so the tripod products, are stocked in the UK ready to be shipped out on Prime. But then when I went, went to go and find uh, the exact microphone that he sent, so the Movo, and the lens kit, we found that actually if we wanted to get those, uh, they would have to be shipped from the UK. But there are very, very, very similar alternatives, pretty much the same products, but just with a different name on it, um, that are then stocked in the UK store. Uh, and it's probably something to do with Amazon's global partnerships. Um, so yeah, you, you can get them pretty much all next day delivery on Prime good. in the UK as well. And you can, okay, good. You, so you were able to get everything on Prime, and, and next day everything, uh, the Yopo and everything. Yeah. Road. So the only, so weirdly, uh, the one that wasn't on Prime actually came the same day as Prime. So okay, uh, it was fun. Wow. Okay. Good. Now, um, so what we've got is okay for in Australia. I believe it'd be the same in Australia as well. I think it's pretty much. I mean, I think it's it's. Amazon actually have has just like Google does. They've got an Amazon.co.au or .com.au. They've got a different Amazon for each country. So you just got to look at these. Hey guys, great products. 
Shame each company is so poor on Twitter. I know, right? He gave me the... So, a taco lover, your name made me laugh. Oh, eat burrito. Yeah. Mark, and eat a burrito. You still got to come over. He's a local guy. You got to come over and bring those burritos and we'll talk about building you a funnel out. Um, Mark Shaw is right is right on point. You want to talk about that, about the uh, the Twitter for the for these, these different companies? About, well, this is the thing, right? I can't tell you. That there's two things that are getting to me at the moment. Number one, the amount of professional business or you know brands that have signed up to Periscope and their Periscope bio starts with the words the official Twitter account for and I'm like whoever your social media guy is sack him because right. he hasn't done his job at all right. first thing you do is when you set up a Periscope is, is set up the bio and things like that um, but no secondly the fact that these people on, on uh, these accounts on Twitter it's a shame because they have a great product that, that me, you, and other people are all loving using, but they're just not hot on social media, and they could do so much better marketing their products if they uh, if they were hot on social media. Yeah, it, it's 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 so true. I mean, it's you know, it, it really it, it doesn't take much, does it? You know, just to just to make a nice bio and to yeah. to keyword optimize it. It's not we're not talking. You don't need to be an SEO expert to create a. Uh, search engine optimized bio, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, good point. Um, and and because you can search by a business niche in the city, they could all clear. They could all clear up Twitter ads target hashtag Periscope. Yes. Um, thanks, JB Howard. Knew about. Okay. Um, what other questions do you have? You got a, You got a. Um, you know, that's a good point, John. Go ahead. Sorry. So I was just going to jump on that. That is a massive opportunity for, for brands now. You know, brands who, let's say tripod brands like Jellyfish, if they were to, to do a Twitter ad campaign, a Twitter ad campaign that just targeted live, the words live on Periscope, picking up every single Periscope broadcaster, he's completely right. They would absolutely clean up because every Periscope broadcaster would want one of these. Oh my goodness. That Well, that's... Let me, this is, this is really, this is really hot. Okay. So the reason why I, okay, I'm an online marketing guy. Okay. The reason why I actually started the whole landing page was because every single time that I did a Periscope, I thought it was just natural. Like I was using these, these fish eyes because I've been using them for years to create these YouTube videos for my, for my customers and for me to create a wider angle, a bigger viewable space. And so every single time that somebody got on my scopes, they were like, oh my gosh, what is that? And then I'd have my microphone and they'd be like, what is that? And then I'd be like, I put, I have my tripod and I'd be using my hands and be like, how are you using your hands and not holding the phone? You know? And I'm like, holy cow, I got to get all these links together. Yeah. And then, and, and so, but to your end of your point, you're right. Every single person that's on Periscope, because it's not, it's not, no longer is it, I'm gonna create it one. Courtney's back. Uh oh. Um, so not only not only is it like what was before, where it's non-interactive. It's YouTube. You gotta to wait to upload it to YouTube. It's fully immersive, fully engaged. I tweeted Movo and they ignored me. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. <laughs> the other thing, which I think is a Periscope essential, and a couple of people have put it in the chat, is an external battery pack. Um, because Periscope does drain your battery, so um, that's probably the other thing that I would buy. Look, I've just seen in the comments before we kind of end, end the stream some new people coming in saying, "Can you go over the three uh, items in the scope sack again?" So I want to do that very quickly. Yeah. Okay, uh, number one being an external uh, lavalier, you know, like a clip-on microphone to help uh, bring professional audio to your broadcast. That's in there, and then uh, if people could write in the chat whilst I'm talking about this, where you know the link to Ryan's webpage, where they can get all the links to Amazon to, to buy these. The second thing is obviously the uh, external lenses as well, which are so useful. You get a, a, a macro and a wide lens, and also a fisheye lens as well, if you really want to go for that stylistic fisheye view. Which of course, with it being a clip on, you can put it either on the front camera or the rear camera as well. So. Uh, it's up to you which one you want to transform it uh, and make wider. And then, I love this. The, the third thing that you get in the scope sack as well is the jellyfish tripod. You know, you can put it down on the desk like that. Put your, you flip these out. Put your iPhone in there. 
and, and away you go. You you have a steady shot. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And and um and so that so people like like Courtney, who's a producer, can now can now be her own her own film film producer and and the whole nine yards. So. Um, you missed us talking about you. I, I, your ears were probably burning, Courtney, because I, I thought you were because you didn't you didn't respond. So, um, so anyway, so yeah, that's so that's what that is. I did see that there were a few people that did getting one ASAP. Um, so I, I really, you know, I, just to really quickly, you were driving home. What driving is more important than being on the scope? Seriously. Um, so so um, yes, driving is important. And I want you to be safe. No no reading comments when you're driving. Um, so. What I wanted to say is, is that you're exactly right. Here's the bottom line. This is something for every. This is something that everybody that's going to really take their scopes to the next level is going to need. And to your point, all these guys need to do because this is integrated with Twitter is literally go after that hashtag live on you know live on Periscope and yeah. literally like they wouldn't need me. I'm only offering this. I'm doing this because they're not doing it. I'm, I mean, you realize what's, yeah. what's happening here. I'm there. The reason why nobody knows about this is because, and there's so much demand, is because they're just not. They don't get it. They don't understand they're it. Not, they're, they're not doing their own marketing, so we have to. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, but I mean, but therein therein lies the opportunity. And you, and this, you know, it's for. I guess there's a lot to to learn from that. No, I had okay. Um, so bottom line is, is that is that there's there's opportunity in 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 these brands really embracing social media. On a yeah. level that's that that, and I'm you know I, I there's so many different aspects of digital marketing, and for me, you know, I primarily focus on getting reviews and getting and building a customer's reputation first, and then we do the other things. And social media is about three or four steps down the line. I'm, you know, that's it's you know we a lot of these guys they just want to get the phone you know the phone ringing. What we don't what they don't understand, and I and I and you probably saw my scope that I did the other day. Of that, you know, of the whiteboard with the whole, you know, the whole life cycle of, you know, where somebody creates a Periscope and then they upload it to YouTube, they retarget from YouTube, they, they actually create the cards in YouTube to drive people directly to the landing page. But bottom line is, Scandis the other day, Ryan Bell, you know, they had a huge opportunity to sell probably 100 to 200 of those uh, of those devices that allow you to offload all these, you know, these high you know, bandwidth take. You know, the, these these videos that go directly to your camera roll. They take up a lot of your a lot of your camera roll. You know, and so you, you need to you need to be able to have something to export it. So everybody on Periscope was immediately like, "Where do I get it? Where do I get it?" Like the comments were like just streaming, buyer, yeah. buyer, buyer, buyer. You know. Um, so anyway, Ryan Biello, what's up? Okay, Milwaukee in the house. What's going on? So um, anything else that you want? Any other questions that you guys have for this guy right here? Um, he is. I can't wait to, to meet you. I'm gonna um, Alex and and Mark Shaw and all you guys. We got a lot of other people on here. Euro Disney Scope. Send me. Okay. So what what other what other questions do you have for this guy? Because you got a you definitely got a uh, a very savvy uh, shoulder mount. So the shoulder mount is something that we can go to. Cost of equipment. So all in. Yopo don't even have a website. Mark Shaw just dropped the bomb. That's mental. Someone said, "What about periscope? Uh, sorry, portable signal enhancers." I haven't come across one there. I'll tell you what I, I use, and a great example of this is today. Uh, for example, at Formula E in, in London, it's in Battersea Park, and you notoriously don't get any signal down there. But there's things called 4G bonding, and, and you can pick up little MiFi dongles as well, um, which really help to to create your own Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, and then broadcast using that, uh, and so that's what I'm doing tomorrow because the native 3G on my phone is kind of non-existent. But bonding, let's say, two or three different cellular data providers, so whether it be Verizon and AT&T, and trying to, and then bonding those signals and sending it all into one hotspot, that that helps. Awesome. That's good. That's good. Um... I know, great job, guys. You bet, Mark. Thank you. Um, I know, Al. I, that was one of, and by the way, everybody. Mark Shaw, if you really want to get, if you guys out, there's a lot of people out here that have a lot of people that are on their scopes. Euro, um, Franzo, uh, Courtney, you know, you guys are starting to get a really, we are, you're becoming the media. You know, I find that I'm not watching TV at night. I'm on Periscope. I'm engaging. I'm, you know, 
I think a lot of us are we're we're into reality TV. It doesn't get any more real than than walking around with me and my fisheye lens at night, you know, around my office. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we're you know I mean we've we've talked about some pretty interesting things, and uh, especially when you get you know Regal and you get some of these uh, these guys these crazy guys on there like Ryan Biello and and uh, you know it really so it, it is addictive. You know Emily Matters just said so. So bottom line is is that is that you guys get to crazy guys right? So you guys get to be the media. You guys get to get sponsors, and Mark Shaw is your guy to help you get sponsors. So you want to connect with Mark Shaw right there. He's in blue. He's the he's the good-looking guy that that looks like he's he's really angry in that picture actually. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like That's like Mark Shaw. He's not really mean. He's nice. Um, so uh, real reality it is. So um, so anyway, so that's what you want to do. You I mean, we're the media. We're the new to news. Mark Shaw needs a sponsor here. Courtney needs a sponsor. I think you, you're a producer. So Courtney, I think we need to be going to you too because she's actually a producer here. She's pretty connected up here in LA. It's like the central of the center of the universe for for uh, for TV here in America. So I think we can probably you know talk to you about that. I want sponsors because Ryan said right. Nice. Um, Hi, Disney Periscope. Okay, LOL. Shoot, I need a yeah. You need a sponsor, Fronzo. Are you looking for sponsors? What do you and who? Who do you recommend? How do you figure out who would be a good sponsor? What What do you think? Really quickly before you go, because I'm gonna ask you. If, yes. if these guys aren't gonna ask you questions, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start popping no out some questions. So before I go, how do I figure out what is a good sponsor to, to go? And it's simple. One simple answer: a brand that fits you. Yeah. Never let a brand shape you or decide the content that you're gonna do. Yeah. You You know, if they like you, uh, they will come to you because they like your content, and they will uh, want to. To put their product or their whatever it is, uh, it, and in, they will want to work with you because they like your content. Never let them dictate what they're going to do. So, when I, whenever I work with a brand or whenever I work with a sponsor or anything like that, um, I will only say yes. And I've said no to many brands. Uh, I will only say yes to the brands that one, if it's a product that I would physically, uh, well, one, I believe that my you watching my Periscope, my fans would actually buy it and would actually enjoy using and want to use. And two, it's something that I would actually, if they, if the brand weren't sponsoring me, that I would actually go out and pay for anyway because I really believe in the product. So my biggest, biggest advice for sponsors is don't say yes to everyone and only ever pick the ones that you feel is beneficial. Got it. That's good. Did you guys hear that? I don't know if you guys are, you know, I know you guys got a lot of chats going on there. That's really good. That's that's some really good advice. <laughs> By the way, you don't have you you lost it. You had a goatee. I lost the most stuff. So the reason I was doing that is someone said that, that I should do um, the Dollar Shave Club. Uh, but yeah, I shaved it off. So yeah. I, I actually I was growing a beard for a little bit myself. First time ever for me. And uh, I felt like I felt like Regal. I mean, I don't know if you've seen this guy Regal. He has a beard that is like its own he's named his beard. It's actually got we named it the other night. That's reality TV right there. When you can name the guy's beard, that's reality TV. So, Alex Pettit, um, I'm trying to get a Kobe to sponsor my broadcast. Hey, everyone, there's Alex right there. So we got Lavinia Osborne. Hey, great for that. Glad you're on. Go Rice Girls on. Oh my gosh, Joanne's on. Brand your passion. Exactly. I agree 100%. You do attract sponsors. First, I yep. Um, there she is. Go follow, Go Rice Girl's awesome. She's creating a lot of, she's just blown up. She's providing, and she's, she's getting there, you know, she's talking about the, you know, the, the fish eyes and all that stuff, and which is great. Um, I, you know, obviously a good spot, you know, for me is the natural sponsor for me would be obviously like Road, and I mean, these are, you know, this is fun stuff. These are like gadgets. This is like, you know, like I have fun doing this stuff. I, I have fun making these more engaging, you know. Um, girls gone wild here. Nice. Um, you know, just jumping in, the last thing that I will, I'll kind of say tonight and, and about sponsors yeah. is just remember. Actually, today is a great example. Today, today is Periscope's three month birthday, and a lot of brands, a lot of uh, sponsors are still wary, and most don't even know what Periscope is. Yeah. So don't expect to get big names now. Don't expect to to get a lot now. Um, but the brands will come. Yeah. So. 
you know, it's great that we're forward thinking and we're thinking about sponsorship and brands, but don't de- be disappointed if you get a hundred no's now. I get it. Now, now, you know what? It just, before I forget, you guys aren't asking questions, so I'm going to ask, okay? So, and, and Mark Shaw, I want you to chime in on this. I just, um, with, with, well, he just left, one of my, one of my account managers, but we've got clients all over the world. I got a, I got a, I got a client in Australia and uh, it's, a, it's a property management company and they're all, one of they, they want to do video, you know, they want to do YouTube videos, they want to upload those to their, blog, their, um, their videos to their, their blogs, and they want to have a ghostwriter write a blog article. We've trained them on how to, how to do all this stuff. So this is her, her dream. And, and yesterday I said, you know what, I'm going to take it even a step further. I think it's great to have that as a goal, to actually create the content, the FAQ videos, put them on YouTube. You know, maybe put a card on there so you can drive traffic directly to your landing page and have people buy yeah. stuff if they want to. But I think, and you tell me, I mean, what I sold her on and what I, what I talked to her about and I, and I planted the seed for is, is this concept of actually getting people to go and actually, for her to rather create a live stream and not just record, send it to her camera roll, and then upload it to YouTube. Instead, create it like we're doing today, because this is all going to be repurposed. I mean, I am absolutely the first one of the reasons why I bought this big old beautiful ah uh, the iMac, you know, that, <laughs> that I've got here, that I've got you showing up on here, is because I want to record this stuff. I want to record the comments and the hearts and upload this to YouTube. And you guys, pay attention. Like seriously, this is where it's at. The only concern, Alex, that I have, because I was just thinking about this as I was waking up in the morning, because you know, I'm like, I'm like Mr. Scope Mind. Like I'm thinking about this stuff a lot. I'm, tr- I'm constantly seeing what the next, that's kind of what, what one of my big things is, is that I'm good at, is being able to put together the pieces of the puzzle of all these different technologies and seeing how they fit. Like, you know, obviously like the Olo clip and all this stuff. But, but what I'm saying is, is the concern I have is that, you know, maybe she gets some, some you know wackadoodle you know some troll on her scope and you know this is a brand you know yeah. and so you can yeah. so so you know what, what are your what do you think it's tough because you know there's no point especially i work with brands so so i like i have my my periscope thing but i work with brands as part of my day-to-day and trying to sell them periscope or like sell them periscope is really hard to do because their number one worry is they know there's trolls on the internet um, but you know you can you can say well if you experience uh, you know if, if we find that there's a certain troll coming into the room there's options where we can very quickly block them or for example we can if if we feel the need and, and you're there we can uh, turn off the chat yes you know and it's obviously Periscope is based around the chat so we never want it to is, do it's that. interactive that's why you know I mean that's why yeah. it's like you know you, you got you got to have a quick draw like and I just can't imagine having some some troll dropped the f bomb on on my you know what I'm saying like they would be like you know, you know it happens so one of the one of the brands I worked with I did a scope with West Ham United who are a Premier League football team here and some troll came in and, and just basically was like X Y Z a dick and blah 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 yeah and you know the client was okay with it he wasn't very happy but the client was okay with it uh, and in the end I said okay well here's what we'll do. For the up, for the YouTube upload, we won't take the the hearts. We'll, we'll take the hearts and the comments off. We'll just do the clean version, and they were totally fine. Okay, with that. okay. So there are ways around it. All right. So, so I, I mean, I, I mean, I, I see that Ryan. You, we all, you know, trolls are, are a challenge. But you know, like Courtney and you guys that want to really get these, like, I want to work with brands. You know, I I want to work with you know with the brands, and that those are my my not only my my best customers in the sense that they get it, but they're, you know, like I find that when I deal with a brand, it's, it's much easier to manage because they're just not into every little detail like the mom and pop local, you know what I'm saying? So, so I want to, like those are the businesses that I'm working with more often now and, and I'm glad, I'm just, that's good feedback because obviously I was, you know, I, I was going to, like you can always, and that's the beauty of what we're doing is we can turn off, you know, we can turn off the comments within 24 hours. You've got the 24 hours to basically rip that thing off of Periscope on your iMac, which I've, I've created, and you were the, one of the first ones that I saw do that, so you know, kudos to you using the, the QuickTime, which is great, um, that, and thank you for, for teaching me how to do that, and I've, I've taught a lot of other people, so it's, it's, I just you know, spread, the, spread it on, uh, pass it on down the line. Viewers aren't surprised, which is great, less likely to, yeah, I know. 
What if we don't have a Mac? Yeah. Are, are, did you have you done it? By the way, a training on that on a on the PC? I've got a bunch of my on followers. The PC. That, yeah. So I haven't done a training, but I can tell you what you need very quickly because then I do need to shoot. Okay. Okay. My girlfriend is probably asleep upstairs and very grumpy with okay. me now. Okay. Uh, 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 yeah. He, he's well. He's over in the UK, so he's you know I'm. You know, you can see the people going around here in downtown San Diego behind me. He's, you know, he's eight hours. It's past midnight. Yeah, yeah. Past midnight. Oh my yeah. gosh, thanks. <laughs> um, no, 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 it's okay. But no, for the, for the PC, you basically want to find an app or download an app called Reflector, which will allow you to airplay your iOS device to your PC. And actually inside Reflector, you can then uh, record that all inside the app. Reflector, okay. And is there anything that, that, that I can that I can do for you? Is there what what do you how can I help you with your you know with you know why don't you tell people what what you know what your how they can help you based on you know what you That's doing. a very on the spot question. Yeah. You know what? It's weird because when your scopes are all about and, and you have this, when your scopes are all about helping others and and giving top tips and showing them kit, when someone asks how can you <laughs> Um, I don't know. I think for me, the, the biggest help that I can get is if you enjoy them, uh, tell me because I like hearing what what you like and what you don't like. But also share it with your friends because I love spreading spreading the tips. Okay. So um, yeah, that's that's two ways that you can help. Okay. Yeah. The, the, obviously, just retweet when you get on when you get on the scopes, and that reminds me if you found like how do we get attention of big brands with com com competition like Tasman or Amanda Oleander. So I guess you're trying to verify Jesus. Yeah. It's tough. It's tough. Because especially with the way that the Periscope has set out uh, the global tab in the fact that, that verified users have a massive platform to be discovered because they stay at the top of the global list. Um, it's hard for non-verified users and uh, some actual verified users as well to be discovered. Are you verified? You're verified, aren't you? No, no, no. I'm not verified. I mean, do you have to get... What what is the qualification for verified? It's a very secret uh, Twitter secret. thing. So the, the, there's no so the qualification for verification is having certain things on your profile, but there's no thing that says you must have X amount of followers and you must have uh, you know X amount of tweets or engagements and things like that. Um, it is literally you basically need to be semi famous, I guess, uh, and possibly know someone on Twitter as well. You know, like, I, <laughs> uh, I'm i going to leave it at that. You know, I could say a bit more about how to actually get verification, but um, I think if I do that, because I do it for brands and businesses, I get businesses and brands verified. Yeah. Um, I think I'd probably be in a bit of trouble if I started giving away the process of how to do that. So. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm really kind of, I'm surprised that you're not verified because you, I mean, you've got quite a following and a lot of people... You know, I mean, you know, you. This is what you're an expert in. You know, I mean, so I've had the opportunity to be verified off of a, of a brand, but I was too scared to do it. So <laughs> I'll wait till my time comes, and then I know I, I've deserved it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you. So anyway, so awesome. I'm gonna let you let you go, and and um, thank you for for reviewing it. And anybody that has not followed Alex, um, Alex Pettit at Alex Pettit, um, definitely go follow him. Um, he, he did a tweet on this. You, can, you guys can see him. Um, let me know what other questions that you guys have, um, and I'll, I'll forward them on to, to Alex. And, and uh, go have some fun with, uh, with, your, with your lady over there, and we'll, we'll talk soon. Okay. Well, indeed. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for a very great show. You bet. Thank you. Awesome. All right, guys. I'm going to hang on a little bit longer. Um, so let me know. What is verified? Thanks, Alex Pettit. He just... I had to man. So XO XO Lisa, I see that you're you're verified. That is really pretty cool. Um, Alex Pettit is awesome. If you're not following him, yeah, that was cool. What do you guys think? You rock, awesome. Thank you. Um, we had a good time. That was fun. I got some more stuff I can show you guys. Wow, great stuff. Yeah, that was really cool. So check this out. I got some great interview. I'm not done yet. I'm just getting started. Bam. No. Hi. Just got in here. Holly G Studios, what's up? Good night all, all great stuff, great value, you did great. Thank you, Courtney. Verified, okay, you're verified. Are you verified? Ryan, we should talk. We should talk, Euro. Um, show me the goods. Let me just show me, I'll show you my goods, Mr. Ryan. All right, now I can get, where's the juicer? <laughs> Mark Shaw, Mark Shaw in the house. If, hey, seriously, if you guys are not following Mark Shaw, you're crazy. 
Can you tell us the brand names of those tools? Yes, I can. XOXO. I got someone that's verified asking me for that. Great interview. Thank you. I better get some sleep too. Late here in the US. Yeah, Creative Flow, you're still on. Ryan, I get my Yopo lens today. Good. What does shipping take? Not that long. About two days. You got to do Prime. Google Fisheye. Yes, thank you. What is. Hi, XO following you now. Yes, lots of badasses. There are some serious badasses in here. I mean, everybody. Euro came out to the party. Franzo, even Courtney. Oh my goodness. I love my Yopo clip. Smart Lob. I'm like undoing. So look at this. This is what's cool about this. Why does shipping take so long? It should only be, it's been weeks. No, because I don't have your address. Don't even give me that. Dude, you freaking rock. Go race girl. What's up? Hey, bosses. Boss, like a boss. All right, so see how I'm, I'm, I'm making this wider? This is another really cool little adapter that I'm unboxing right now. Can someone tell me what Verified is? It's it, just a little checkbox in, your, in your, uh, your profile. If you've got that little blue checkbox, it, it, it's just a little check, a little blue circle, and that means you're verified. So like, you know, like Mark Shaw is probably going to get one pretty soon. Courtney, yeah, she's probably going to get one pretty soon. You know, all those famous people. The address, you're a meister. You got to be famous and you got to know somebody basically over it. So this is what's cool about this. Look at this. The address, you're a maestro. Paris, France. Nice. Oh my gosh, Alexa, you missed the whole thing, girl. I have seriously had everybody on this scope that I follow. That is so cool. Alexa, I'm glad that you came by. You're, I know, right? Seriously, you've just been, you just been like hanging in the background, girl. I haven't seen one. Now you just get my, you just get my little 13 year old son here and I will be happy and my, and my, my parents. No chance on getting verified. Only me. You're a major celeb. In my mind, you are, we got to talk to these people at Twitter. So this is the, um, check this out. This is the shoulder pod. Came to say hi. Thank you, Alexa. Looking forward to meeting you over at the, uh, in the summit. What's Ryan not following me? Ha, oh, I'm gonna. So check this out. So look, this little bottom thing, it's got like a little weight. I just did what great fashionistas abroad would love to get you in the mix. Yeah, did with, so, oh good, because we love you all. Courtney, yeah, right? Saying, Alexa saying hi to Courtney, but there, I'll just let you guys talk amongst yourselves. All right, so basically, uh, so here we go. So this is the, check this out. I don't even have my phone because I'm talking in it right now. I'm to, like Mark Shaw would say, I'm so glad that you guys are here. Otherwise, I'd be talking into my iPhone case. I love it when he says that. Um, so, guys, your videos to, with YouTube comments, you've got to use QuickTime. Um, QuickTime for your Mac. That bad boy right there, all day long. Great to find, great stuff, you bet. Euro Maestro probably got it years ago. Different rules then, yeah. He's, you know, he's been around for a long time, that Euro guy. You know? QuickTime, exactly. The thing in your hands is the best tool. It is pretty cool. Um, watch. And the reason why is because look, it, it, it basically is like, I mean, you basically put the phone in here. It's a, uh, it's an adapter and also look, it's a tripod. It look, see that it's a tripod. So it could be a tripod. The only thing I don't like is that, is that it only, you can't tilt it back. Okay. Now you can put the phone in here like this and it will prop up like this. You can put the phone in here like this and it'll prop up looking up like this. So you could look at, you could use it as a tripod like that as well. A pod, but not a tripod. Okay. So this is pretty cool. I, okay. Yeah. I like a good tilt. <laughs> right. One of my favorite scopers, Kathy's in the house. Oh my gosh. Kathy, can, can you talk about what, all right, I'm not going to like, it doesn't fall over. No, it doesn't. But here, what I, I really like this the best because you've got, this is, the, this is the one we were talking about in the show today. What brand? This is called the shoulder pod. This thing's called the shoulder pod. And um, this, is, this is basically, this is called by Jellyfish. This is the one that's in the, tri, in the scope sack, okay? Kathy Hackle. There's Mark Shaw. Kathy, we had an amazing scope with, uh, with Alex Pettit. I got my brand new iMac here. It looks smaller than it is, but that's a 27 inch rate. Right that thing's really cool. And it worked awesome, by the way, just a little note. It worked awesome to basically plug both. Well, I'm going to unplug it really quick so you guys can get some. I used my little Rode SC6 here to plug, to use both. Okay. So I know it's chocolate Johnny, 
Thanks so much, glad you were enjoying them. So here's the SC6, I got both Rode mics plugged right, I know I had 200 people in here, right? Right here, okay, Night Mark, you're awesome. Chocolate with the chocolate chips on top. That's all I'm saying, I just gotta say, I had to, Mark, I just had to say it, just saying. All right, because seriously, I'm always gonna remember you for that. Um, cupcake, cupcake. Everybody, seriously, say cupcake for Mark. So, so this is, here's the tripod on the bottom. Have a great night, Mark Shaw. Uh, Mike works well, right? Okay, and what was really cool, hey Mark, and um, anybody else, check it out. This is Kathy. So one of these road mics, cupcakes, thank you. Cupcake, cupcake. <laughs> You guys are probably all new because seriously, like that's what Mark says. He says, if you're, if you're new, type the wood cupcake in it. Is that right? So, Alyle, yes, sorry, connection not working for me. Great scope, bye. All right, rather sheepish. Oh, not a, donuts, donuts. Danish, yeah, thought it was great. Cupcake, boom, boom. All right, muffin. Um, so basically, um, this is what I was doing, Kathy. Chocolate cupcakes, yes. XOXO, Lisa, okay, so check it out. This is the mic that I literally put right, I taped right to the table here, right underneath. So it was, it was I've got this thing etherneted right in here, etherneted, bam, leaving on the red eye tonight. Where are you going? XO, XO, Lisa, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna find out about you. You seem intriguing. Follow, all right. Um, stop, stop what? Gotta go. Euro, you're the man. You are the man. I had two mics. Yeah, girl, you missed it. I had totally had two mics. Yeah, right back at you there, XO. Peace out. Later, Euro. Are you coming to Paris too? Yeah, to see you. You gonna put me up in your pad? We're gonna near the Eiffel Tower. Bye. Did you already cover the three tools? I did, dating about an hour ago. Just followed you, Euro. Yeah, you gotta seriously. She, XO, she's, he's, a, he's, the, he's the bomb. Once he gets his, his fish eyes, did you use the adapter? Yes, I did, Courtney. Uh, Olo lens, uh, Olo lens is right here. Boom, Olo. I'm not using the Olo lens, I'm using the Yopo. This is one of the three things that I use. So the three things are right here. PeriscopeRyan.com for the scopes app. PeriscopeRyan.com. Fun crowd here, nice scope, Ryan. Yeah, I, got, we, I attract some pretty cool people. Um, so so here's, here's the, um, I'm getting the Yopo. This is the Yopo, this is the, the clip. This clips right on any, any mobile device. That's why I, I was thinking of you guys. I took care of, I saved you guys so much time, you don't even know it. Is Yopo the best? It is the best for every super cool peeps, right? Um, it is the best, you know why? Because it's for every, everybody out there. You bet. And what's your first name? Is it Lisa? Thank you, you bet. Is it Lisa, XO, or is it just XO? I'm just, I'm just gonna call you XO. Um, all right, sending you all hugs, aw, thank you. Yobo. No, it's not Yobo, it's Yopo. Okay, so, so this is, I'm, I'm going to buy it with your Amazon site. Boom, boom, Charles Fuchs, Charles Fuchs. Courtney, hi, fish eye, bye y'all. All right, Matt Sack.